What's up, y'all? It's Coach Justin. We're here again at the sit down. Um, got another great, very special guest. Uh, somebody who you guys know is like my brother, um, close friend of mine. Grew up since you know young kids together, playing against each other, playing together. Uh, Will Cherry, um, hey. welcome, brother. Thanks for coming to sit down with me. I appreciate yeah, you. Doing. Uh, how you doing, brother? I'm doing good, bro. How you been? Good, man. Good, man. Uh, like I said, man, thanks for coming. I know you're a very busy man. We've been trying to get this uh, in the works for a while. Finally, glad we finally got it uh, taken care of. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So let's start by telling the people a little bit about yourself, man. You know, where you from? You know, what uh, with AU teams you played for early on? And, you know, just kind of tell us your little story from all the way from a kid until about now. Yeah, man, man, I'm from the West, man. You okay. know, you know where okay. I'm from, man. West Oakland, yeah. California. You already know, man. <laughs> we ain't do that East Oakland. Okay, so, okay. Man. Let me you know, know what I mean. <laughs> family. But you know, I'm from the West, man. Grew up right there. Um, man, my grandma block right there on 29th. And uh, man, I just that was right there. That, that was my family because we moved around a lot. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And, um, when we settled down there, that was that was home. Yeah. You know what I mean? Now, right down the street from the Boys and Girls Club, um, man, could play basketball at our elementary school, right? right. Um, so, and that's why I really met a lot of my, you know, my best friends. Right. You know what I mean? To this day. That's yes. Dope. That's dope. To this day, bro. And it, it's been years. Right. You know what I mean? You got, you know, Delay. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, you got Bub. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Uh, Q. Right. Booty. Right. Um, later in the picture, you know, came Memo. Right. Um, so right, right there, that little block was that was the family. You know what I mean? Even though Mims is down the street, right? Um, man, that's that's probably you know what I mean. One of my best friends to this right, day. Right. You know what I mean? Oldest friends. Um, so we all right there. So that was that was a, a, a tight knit family right there. So that's where I come from, and that's kind of where um, my love for basketball started to grow. Talk about that a little bit. Um, was it like a kind of like a neighborhood thing as far as basketball? Did you have like a, a um, a guardian figure in your life who kind of pointed you like how did you know okay I'm gonna try basketball uh I don't know man I think I, I just picked up I just think I just yeah. picked up ball. and that's kind of how I have it sometimes that's yeah what I'm sometimes it's just ball. like oh what's this like you yeah. know what I mean like, it just kind of you know what I mean you've probably seen it a few times exactly and, and I just start playing with it then I'm trying to you know dribble between the legs I'm like, and people you know I, mean, I couldn't do it for the longest people right. were teaching me um, and then after that I just fell in love with pretty much every sport you can think of, you know what I mean? Right. You know, just just being curious and playing. And I just happened to be good and athletic at him and pick up easy. Um, and I think that was something that just came natural to me, whether it was tennis, soccer. Right, right. You know, I'm, that, at that point, you ain't really playing competitive. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. just, just playing having stuff. Fun. Yeah, having fun in the neighborhood and, and making up games and stuff. Right, right, basketball right. and football was always the, the one thing that, I, you know, I understood really well. I knew I could play. Right. So let's start. Um, so what was the first team you played on? First team. My first team was uh the Oakland Dominators. Okay. Yep. Shout out to the Dominators. Yo, man, man. man. That, that is probably one of like my favorite stories. Like whenever I'm running down like the AAU team, I always mention the Dominators because what Donnie Graham was doing and Mace was doing with the Dominators was like y'all that like the yeah, RP to Mace, RP. man. Like that was one of the first young cats who I saw in the game who treated me like family. All y'all did because mm -hmm. obviously my family's from West Oakland. Yeah. So, but I, even though I've always played on a different team, I was always the one kicking it with y'all at Foster and yeah. you know what I mean at all the AAU tournaments. But what the Dominators used to do was fire, bro. Because it's like you could tell it wasn't a lot of money involved. You know what I mean? But you could tell the like you said, you Memo Q Booty, all all y'all dudes grew up together. You know what I mean? You could tell it was like real love for each other. Y'all went to war with like. Like, I played for the Oakland Bulldogs first, the Oakland Rebels, and we, like, traveling to these tournaments. We got monthly fees that's due. You know what I mean? And it's like, yeah, at every tournament, y'all either in the championship or the game before the championship, like, y'all not getting pushed over. And it's like, that, to, like, to, for me to know about the Dominators and the people, if you if you was in, if you can't be a real Uber from Oakland if you don't respect the Dominators. And that's facts. just period. That's facts. That's period. And, I, and that's this is coming facts. from a cat who never played for the Dominators. Yeah. That's so facts. it's no biasness, but you can't. If you don't say that, I guarantee you ask people like Dam Damian Lillard and all these dudes, Jared Cunningham, the guys who grew up in our generation who are big time, yeah. they're going to say the Dominators were, you like, y'all was in the heat of everything. Real talk. Real like, talk. No, like, we was, bro. It was, I don't think funny. we realized at that age how dope that was. Yeah, it's funny, bro, because, uh, 
Man, I'm the one that actually came up with that name. For real? Yeah. I came up with that name. We was at a plan. We were playing out Marcus Foster. You know, you everybody got the Junior Warriors right. um, league, and so you you make up you make up your team right. with your school. Mm-hmm. So we had me, Delay, uh, Q, uh, a guy named Marquez. A lot of people, a lot of people, boy. was Every one of the best bigs. That was boy, that boy was one of the best bigs in Oakland. At a youngin though, he had Bro, footwork. Of nice. Fish. Then he started left, right. hit the jumper. Left, he made free throws. Bro, I'm he telling was, you, that boy was that boy, good. Was solid. Strong. That boy, Quiz. He was blocked, man. Hey, I love Quiz. Every time I, bro, Quiz. since I met, like, to this day, I can't tell you if I run into Quiz, he do nothing but show love. Bro. Yeah, nothing Quiz. Nothing but show love. Bro, Quiz, boy, he he was one of the best bigs right there. You know what I mean? At first, we had Damon Powell. I, and I didn't even know that at the time yeah. until, uh, obviously, me and Damon. We got him seventh grade, cool. but then before so that's we got really him before after. Dame was Damon Powell. Mm-hmm. Because we got Damon around the eighth grade. Mm-hmm. Before Dame was Damon Powell. Yeah, Damon had no Dame really didn't have no skills when he got with us. Right. Me I mean us it's just straight yeah, athleticism. And, and, and fast, even that wasn't done, controlled. It not was just, not you know, not not until later. Yeah, because I remember he used to be like I'd be like, bro, you could dunk because you jump in way over yeah, the rim. And he would miss it yeah, right over the exactly. rim and hit the back hit the back. And then his hands were so small he could it, right, he could never palm the ball. So he would have to almost double mm-hmm. dribble almost double when he double, and then yeah. when he like it gotta be wide open at that right, time. Right. So we really saw Dame like from before we yeah. came in, uh, which is dope for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before he blew up, right. you know what I mean? Because so we know where he came from, exactly. and that's why we respect it a lot more than other people. Exactly. And they just be like, oh, he can do this, and he can yeah. only do that. I said, but he came a long way, bro. Right. Like man, right. that dude. I remember one time he broke off, uh, got it off the rim. And broke a fast breakout, crossed the cat over, and did took off. I was like, oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh where he get that? But don't do it too, too much. Right, right. right. Give me the ball, T. I'm the point guard. <laughs> right, right. Hey, we can't have none of that. But Coach that was Bulls nice would, to watch. Coach Bulls would yank my, right. my butt off the court. Right. Quick, like quick, bro. So I'm yeah. like, I don't want them problems. Right. You know what I mean? I don't want Coach Mo looking at me. Damn it, Will. Look, yeah. yeah that, I, Coach Mo was that type of coach. Yeah, he, 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 he going to blame me. Look. Yeah, everything was on him. He going to blame that me. That says how much he, how yeah. much respect and, and comedy he, you know, play, put, placed into you. So, let's, so, Dominators, you, like I said, that's, that's the little thing. We were there, bro. Right. So, we were, I remember, I looked at a picture at a Grandma Jam. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Grandma Jam. Yep. Shout, Shout out, out to grandma. everybody, Grandma. Everybody, Grandma. Best one of the yeah. best women in, in my in that the world. That lady touched a lot of young, world. a yeah. lot of young men. Like made a lot of stuff happen, yeah. especially on that block. She, it's like I said, she showed me love. Like like every everybody. Yeah, like it don't even matter. She know you exactly. Of course. Yeah, she know you. Even if she don't yeah. know you, you ain't gonna know that. Yeah, you know what I mean? Because that's how when I first started coming around, it was like nervous, and she treated me like she just saw me the day before. Yeah, you know she just I mean? got a she just got a spirit about her like that, bro. And I think a lot of the, you know, not to go off topic, but I think a lot of. That's what a lot of Oakland is missing, man. You know what I mean? Like, because they don't have that respect for those elders. Like, if anybody did something out of pocket at Grandma Jean House, like, it wasn't... you. She didn't have to say that. She didn't have to. Somebody else checked you. Exactly. On behalf of her. Exactly. And you know she going to ask you about them grades. Yeah. You know what I mean? She going to show... Shout out to Grandma Jean. But so... Yeah. So, um... Uh, after... At, let's talk about after the Dominators. So, what, what comes after Dominators? Do you go... After Dominator, so I've been playing with them forever, right? Forever, all the way to sophomore year, right? And, and that's after I got I got bumped up from JV to Bar right. at Mac, right? right. Um, at this time, everybody knew I was gonna go Bar, right? Because right. they was telling me you should be you, why you ain't trying to go Bar now, but you know, Coach Mo and them knew it was way too many guards right. at the time, right? The right. Blackwell's at Mac. Blackwell was still there. Um, Vinny's there. Vinny's there. Um, I think Gabe, no, Gabe by this time. Yep, Gabe, Gabe was still there. there. Gabe is there. Gabe is there. Um, Dom. Dom. I remember Dom. Mm-hmm. So, uh, that was it. Yeah. So you know what I mean? Like, heavy. You, so, it's guard heavy. Right. He told me, you ain't going to play. Right. Why still talent up here? No, you ain't going to play. You're going to sit a year. You ain't going to be able to, you know, get no feel for the game or learn the game at this mm-hmm. level, right? So, that does, you feel me? If you're trying to go to the bar, that does you no good. All right. So, go down to JV, right, where you're going to play and start um, and handle your business. So, let's talk about, let's talk about uh, sophomore year. Because I, I, like, first of all, you might, you might, we're like, 
best friends. Mm-hmm. So everybody knows that. But when I'm talking to people about you, I always tell people it's like, if you look at Will's career from his sophomore year on, it's like impeccable. You know what I mean? And, and so that's why I want. This is like where I want to kind of introduce. Yeah. So sophomore year, you're on varsity at this point. Yeah. Take me through that year, like a quick breeze. Like, okay, like was it like you were you playing spot minutes at first? Were you in the heat? Like, were you getting minutes? Was it like you were kind of a reliever? Like, how, how was that? Sophomore year, um, I was a starter. Okay. Right, I was a starter. Okay. Right, and uh, it was actually me, Bob, Vinny, Mook, and Danny Lemon, yeah. one of the tallest cats around in Oakland that time, yeah. and. Uh, we had Mook on a block at the foe. Who it it's just unguardable. Yeah, at that point it was just it was just you you throw it down to him, you it's, definitely it's can just get yeah, back yeah. And, and watch him do his thing. That's two points. Right. Then he can get it off the rim and push and it. push it. Start to start but, to break. Yeah, then offenses. sometimes he, he get us in trouble because he's throwing a behind the back pa- bounce pass and then skip a beat, not go out of bounds. Right. Now, you know what I mean? Mook looking at us. We looking at Coach Mo. <laughs> Everybody looking at everybody, everybody looking at everybody. But it's Mook fault. Right. Right. <laughs> right? Sometimes they look good. Everybody, ooh, I lay it off the you feel right. me at the glass off the work. left hand. But when it don't work, oh man. But sophomore year, I was there and then that's I, that's actually where I started, you feel me? So you feel like how I feel basically. Yeah. I just say, okay, that's how I started no, becoming I one of the boys. Yeah, like sophomore year. That's how you feel. That's right. dope. That's dope. Sophomore year, I'm like, oh, we made it to state. We didn't win it. I had a great game right. my sophomore year, I right? You hit that top of the key three from hell. Yeah. You know what I mean? I think I had like nine. I think something 11. Like nine, 11. Something like I'm that. like, Whatever. Oh, Somewhere yep, there. I had a couple. I, had, I think I had another three in the second half. Yeah, you had two so, big threes. Mm-hmm, I'm like, okay. And what, the, what was dope about that game is you guys were losing, but you were playing so hard. Yeah. I remember watching that game live yeah. and like thinking that, like, that's my boy. Because we was already cool by that yeah, time. We weren't yeah. obviously as close as we were by the time I got to Mac, but we were already like, we yeah, was, like the respect was all yeah there. because we, we all grew together. Like, yeah. So it was like the way our it was, and it's crazy because even as adults, our whole generation, our group of friends, we're yeah. all like that now. Like yeah. we don't yeah. all talk all the That's time. That's just like if 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 y'all would have made it to the state, we would have we would have exactly. drove up there exactly. because it was all family. Exactly, we know. Okay, Justin playing. Exactly, you know, Eway and right. Booze for sure. They want to. Exactly. They know. You know what I mean? That's family. Right, Be Uncle Biddy. Exactly. You know what I mean? Exactly. Your pops like. Right. We obviously we didn't know. How close to everybody was until you really got to yeah, match. Yeah, it was yeah, like, yeah. that's your dad, that's your uncle. Exactly. And what? I, I, we gonna they talk were like, y'all so do look all yeah. like, like, y'all fat. <laughs> <laughs> Cheek it, you know what I mean? But I'm like, damn. But that's the same thing. It was it was all mutual because if you, like you said, if you would have made the state, we right. for sure would have, everybody would have, you know what I mean, came back. And if you would have won it, like, man, we would have we met you. Yeah, you, you know been what just mean? as happy as I was. Yeah, that, and so that's dope. And that's so, how it was. So sophomore year, you guys make it to state and lose. And what was you guys record? Do you remember like twenty nine and three uh, or something like that? Yep, twenty nine yep. and three, right? Yep. It's crazy. I remember that. Yeah, yeah. I've always been weird. Yeah. No, 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 no. We was uh, no, nah, we was like twenty nine and we were like what? Probably twenty six and ten. No. I think sophomore year we was twenty six and ten. Really? I'm, that's what I'm thinking, bro. If I'm not mistaken. That sounds about right. That might you might that yeah, might be yeah, right. Really? That might be right. Yeah. I don't think I don't know how true that is though. No, we'll yeah, fact yeah, check that. We'll fact check that. Because I remember junior year we gonna get to that. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? What yeah, yeah, yeah. And then our sophomore year, we was twenty nine. I mean our senior year was twenty nine and two. two. See what right. I mean? So yeah. I think you got it mixed up. Okay, maybe that might. Yep. Be because I I remember. Let me see. Sophomore year we lost a, we we lost a couple games for sure. Okay. For sure. Okay. So let's um let's talk about. Uh, junior year, magical moment, man. Like junior years, people still talk about that. It's crazy because people still confuse me for being a part of that. You know, what yeah, I mean? because yep. of it's kind of all family, blurred together. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, but still, and then I was always around because yeah, exactly the family. So people kind of expected you to be right. at Mac anyway. Every, we'll talk about that later. Yeah, but, but so so talk. Give me like a quick rundown of uh, yeah, year, like. At what point did you guys think like, okay, this undefeated season thing is a real thing? Because for people who don't know, they went thirty-two and zero, won the state championship, uh, to the year two thousand seven, two thousand eight. They went thirty-two and zero. Will was a junior. That's Frank Otis Moop. What we talked about earlier was a senior. Yeah. Uh, 
Damon Powell was a junior. Memo was a senior. Memo was a senior. Memorial Sam, shout out to Memo. Mm-hmm. Um, Q was a junior. Yep. Shout out to Q. Shout pretty, out to all them. Pretty guys, much right? everybody. Yeah. Everybody coming right, back. Right. Right. Um, so, give me a, like what at what point? Because I, I like I said I was at all those games. I'm at Amador at the time, but it's family. I'm at all those games. Uh, how was that? That that had to be crazy. Man. Because it, like you said, sophomore year you felt like a boy. Like yeah. you know, okay, this is getting real. I'm getting good now. Yeah. I'm getting respect. Because yep. you've been a dog. Yep. Anybody who's been in the trenches with you, coached against you, we know. Yeah. But the people watching, they ain't they ain't on it yet. Because mm-hmm. it's it's mostly to be honest, I think that's part of the problem with what you dealing with nowadays. Yeah. And we're gonna talk about that later. Mm-hmm. But from the outside looking in, you don't really see the impact. Mm-hmm. But when you win them trenches, you feel Will Cherry. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like if you know the game, you watching, you know, you see the impact Will Cherry having on the game. Yeah. He there. You gonna know. That's a fact. You feel Especially me? Especially in high school. Yeah. So at what point, like I said, do, do we feel like 32 and 0 is a real thing? Not until the last three minutes of that game. Really? Yep. I'm gonna tell you why. Because oh, okay. that next that next that next year after we lost sophomore year, right? Memo sat that bench pretty much the entire sophomore year. I remember that. Spot minutes here and there. I remember that. I remember that. Right? But that turned him into a dog. Was, because to go back to it, already our freshman year, he thought that he should have been moved up to VAR over me. Really? Yeah. Are you guys as close as you are now back then? Yes. Okay. Yes. And this is why. Because immediately... So it goes back to Ohio. That's when they, I mean, they already knew, okay, this, he, I'm going, I guess they knew I was going to go up the bar. You know what I mean? That's part of why Coach Mo talked to my mom and was like, don't chance me to James Logan, right? And so I had to catch the bus and bar all of, you know, that was our deal. If I wanted to go to Mac, I had to catch the bus and bar every day. Me and my little brother, back and forth, every day, back and forth. All right? It was tough, but I, I knew where I wanted to be and who I wanted to be, who I wanted to play for. So, he, he, they kept me there for a reason, I guess. Right. When I hit the the, the uh, game winning shot on on high my JV year, and won it at the buzzer. This is on JV. Yeah. Last game it was over. I guess that was solidified. So I moved up and memo. He told me like you feel me like I can tell he had a problem with it, but he was like yeah 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 the best. But it come back to it though right it come back you feel me he called me like. Congratulations. Who called you? Memo. Okay. You know what I mean? He's like, congratulations, you got moved up. You know what I mean? I was like, appreciate it. You know what I mean? Everything. And then not even knowing, Memo almost got his ass in trouble by Coach Mo because he didn't find a, 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 what is it? A progress report in his locker. Right? But Coach Mo said he put it in. I guess you can see it. He didn't find a progress report. And that's how you know you reported to bar. Oh, because you got it. For summer grades. league. For summer league. And he was like, where you got that progress report? He said, I didn't see it. He go off on it. He was up, he was up on VAR. And we we became, you know what I mean? We was them two back guard that just took Young them, you know what I mean? School. Me, him, you know what I mean? Me and him. So hey. y'all kind of were working together. Mm-hmm. And we to, brought, and then Q came in. Right. We got Q. It was like, oh, we we just solidified Q, that whole dominator. Right. Dominator People thing again. Under, we had to replace people. we had to replace him with Bub. So now we all of us come. We are pretty much you feel me. Us come back to return until we add Q. Right. Who's Who? dog? Dog. Q. Right. We add Q. Dog. Bro, we like bro. We lost last year in the in the uh, state finals, and it started suddenly. We ain't losing again, and we just keep man. We just rolling through cats, rolling through cats. Some cats saying they gonna beat us by thirty. Fremont saying they gonna beat us by thirty when they see us. Fremont was good. And, that yeah, year and, got, oh, and, yeah, and beat us at forty. Year. At their house. Coach Mo tell us that one of the little previous games said, all right. We yeah. smack. You feel me? We smack. Who we smack? Okay. Actually, off our, that game, I think we might have smacked Fremont by 30. For real? This is summer And it was like a close game. Yeah. This is summer league? Yeah, we might have smacked Fremont one time by 30. And, it was, and then it was a close game. So, okay, let's go back. So, junior year. Actually, no. Fremont, both games were close. Okay. With them. Both games are closest to my junior year. Okay. So, junior year, you said 32-0 wasn't a realistic thing really until 
the last three minutes of the state championship game. Mm. And that's significant because you guys won in that game convincingly. Yep. Right? Yep. That was a, you guys put it on. They, they had, I mean, they had Jordan Hamilton, so they had a couple runs, yeah. but. It was over. Yeah, it was a ride. It was over. Let's, um, let's talk about, uh, I, and I didn't realize this until you just said it. Q joined in. Mm-hmm. Q kind of went through what I went through a little bit. Yeah. When I transferred to Mac. Yeah. Because you, but it was a little different because you guys had the hype when I came. Mm-hmm. And people don't, well, I'm going to depth about this. So, what, the reason I'm saying is because Q was from y'all, Elk, but he went to Tech. Yeah. So, when he came to Mac, some people could have looked at it like, oh, he's just trying to jump on a bedwag because they just came from State. Tech wasn't as good as you guys, obviously. Yeah. But people don't know, y'all, like you said, now this Dominators again. This is this three guard, this three headed monster who's been causing trouble for the last three, four years in middle school. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, it's like now they just put, you putting them back in the element. Now Q is playing like Q again. Yep, because he with us. And you know what I mean? It's like, comfortable. it's he almost like people. the Power Rangers when they, yeah, <laughs> when they combine. He with, he with his people. And then another thing I just thought about just now as we talking about this is Memo also suffered. Because I ain't going to lie, bro. It was tough for me coming to Mac. Mm-hmm. It was tough. Because you had to live up to his standards. It, that. I mean, you yeah, you had to live no, up that, to his his kind of shadow. I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why it was tough for me. It was tough for a bunch of different reasons. Because when I thought about it, it was like, like when I'm trying to make the decision, it was like, okay. My dad's like, man, let's just do it. And for one, I loved Coach Collins at Amador. That was my God. Like, yeah. he, he did, you know, everything for me. So I'm like, I don't want to dip on him. Mm-hmm. For two, it was, I don't want to jump on no bandwagon. Everybody going to look at me like, how, it's almost like the Kevin Durant situation. Like, obviously, I'm not KD. But yeah, no, no, that's how, people, that's how they treated you. So it was it's hilarious because <laughs> somebody who I don't know, right, when Twitter, it was the first time I was on Twitter talking about it. Somebody who I don't know I said. I had Twitter. I had Twitter. Man. No, I'm saying when I, when I, when Ke- the Kevin Durant thing. Oh, okay. I was on Twitter defending them. And I was saying, how can you be mad at a player for going where they want to play to win championships when everybody credits your success on championships for one, for two, these teams can get rid of you whenever they want. Yeah. Somebody tweeted me, I don't remember who and said, you would know because you did it first with Matt. Oh. Right? And it was hilarious to me. Were you a partner from Amador? Somebody I don't remember. I, it was somebody I didn't know. I didn't know the person. Damn, that made so, follow you. Yeah, so it, it was your career. But it was funny. To me, I didn't take it personal. Yeah, it was yeah, like, yeah. that's really, I knew people looked at it like that. But when I break it down. It's a basketball world. Right. But also, like you said earlier, people don't know that I was supposed to go to Mac straight out of, out of middle school. Yeah. I just got in trouble. I started yeah. getting in trouble. People don't know I was the ball boy for Mac as a, as a in middle school because my Uncle Beatty yeah. was the coach of Mac. So I knew Coach Mo and Coach Booz and them from, like, as soon as I started playing basketball. Yeah. because So I was working out with Blackwell and them. But people don't know this because... But you remember you remember when uh, they was like, man, Justin about to Justin about to come to Mac. I was like, man, well, well tell him bring his ass on. Right, man. right, of course. And well, then, then when we fast forward, when you did end up coming to Mac. We know, let's get... Hold on, hold on. Because, hold on. That's, that was another funny story. He's a 6'1 guard, a senior, number 22, Will Cherry. So that is why I say Q kind of feel no one draw could feel because I it was tough for me fitting in because for yeah. one I'm coming into you and and Q bubble yeah. replacing Memo yeah. but it's so it's also it's a little bit of pressure on me because you know how much respect I got for Memo uh-huh. as a Hooper as a person as a man you know what I mean so yeah he wanted the boys yeah he and 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 but also I feel Memo pain because I don't think Memo got the credit he deserved deserved as a defender. Mm-hmm. And I also feel the same about myself mm-hmm. because he, because I'm sitting next to Will and Q ass. Yep, and, and that ain't that, that, that wasn't fair to me, bro. Yeah, and it's like bro, I you can look, do more than look, shoot. But, but, so I used to hold on. This is funny because somebody brought this up to me the other day. It was like Rob is a girl too. She was like, I remember one watching you play one day and. You somebody tried to drive by you and they couldn't and you waved your finger at them like Matumbo. Like, <laughs> like, this is a girl who plays basketball. Yeah, there. yeah. And I was like, I used to have to do stuff like that to let people know. But I play deep. I yeah. play defense. Mims, Mims, what, what? Coach Mo knew what he had in Mims. Yeah, he but wasn't I'm talking about that was he was on three and D before. Yeah, like, before it was a thing. Yeah. So Wait, remember, I, and then his hair. Yeah. Made looked like he was. And then my out. hair. So it was like yeah. it was like literally like oh this is. This is a generic memo coming in. <laughs> to the situation. And you had you had standards to live up to. Yeah, bro. it's like they just it's went like, thirty two and like, zero. Bro, it's like this dude, he really graduated. Yes. Now he in college, but you know he getting calls about 
what we he doing because he didn't even came to a couple of our games. Yeah, he was here early. You know what I mean? Actually, and remember he he was. I remember actually, how pissed he was at us. Yeah, we're gonna talk about that. We lost yeah, the we're gonna talk about that. So I actually I spoke to Memo before, and this is why I always had the most respect for him. He probably don't remember this. We had a talk one day. It was a summer. I came to work out at Mac. The yeah. summer before I came, and he was there, and he was like, "Look, bro, like." Basically giving me his blessing, but not like giving me his blessing. That's just how I took it. Yeah. He wasn't talking to me like, oh, I'm passing you the torch. It was more so like, look, bro, don't trip off this bull BS that you're going to hear, bro. We know that this, you, you've you been around. Yeah. It's going to be like you coming to work out with us. Because I worked out with y'all on everything yeah. back then. Yeah. And then Damon Powell obviously played with y'all, so I was yeah. around at every game. And remember and remember they tried to, they tried to kind of crucify... David Powell for, for leaving, coming back. And leaving the coming back. Yep, same thing. Because he, he started. He started that back. Because he left he because left he, you know what I mean? Right. And then I don't, I don't know for whatever reason. And right. then he came back. Right. You know, after we went to, we right. went to right. state. Yeah, that's a good point. Because remember, we was, at, we was about so to win. So, Will, you guys added Q and Dame. Yeah. Back to that 32-0 Yep, because we was about to win. We was about to, we was about to, we went to state that sophomore year. And he was at, I mean. He was at Yeah, with my sophomore year. He was at. San Lorenzo. Yep. And that's when he was like, Coach Mo, I'm coming back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, summer league or something, right? Yeah, no, no, it was a uh, Oyo Championship. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Cause Mo just like game or not? Yeah, yeah Cause okay. Mo's so cool. Yeah, yeah, okay. But, um, he came back, but right. then go back so, to your point. So, so Memo hollered at me like, man, you know, come in there, bro, be yourself. Like, don't worry about you know thirty two and zero. Don't worry about me. Don't worry because everybody gonna compare us. You know, I know what's up. We will and Q on board that they know what's up. You, especially you. I'm not gonna yeah. lie. You was like. Like you said, bro, bring his ass home. Like then when you when I it was so funny because it was almost every summer I was saying I was gonna come. Yeah, you know what I mean. Every summer I was like, all right, I'm. I think I was like, man, you so, ain't. So the first day of school, I was sitting in class and I remember you was late. Oh was, yeah. You said you had to catch bar from your city. Yeah. So let's throw that out there. But you, I mean, you know, man. And I, then, you didn't know you didn't know how that's that my school, G. Yeah. So yeah, then. Bro. You walk in class and it was funny because I'm sitting on the up outside of class. I don't really, I know a couple people from like, you know, I don't really know that many people. They don't know me, so I'm yeah. sitting there. You walk in class, you lay over there, you go sit down, you you say what's up to everybody you know, and you you get me and you make eye contact. For me, I'm like my boy here. Yeah. So I, you know how familiar face that I, yep. I'm comfortable with. <laughs> you looked at me, bro. Your eyes was like. You came like yeah. and you said that in the middle. And DT like, boy, sit down. Yeah. Like, you know, DT, she yeah. like treat us like she our mama. Yeah, you know what I mean, because she taught my daddy and all yeah. that. But it was crazy. And then and then we started our journey together. Yep. And now it's like it really turned into it was like me and you just like it's like it was yeah, it was like you couldn't it was like you see Justin you see Willie you see yeah you see Justin. and it was just if we was in the gym together we was going to watch other teams play we was. Chasing girls, we was you know doing whatever we was doing. It was like Justin and Will, Will and Justin, yep. and then it was like people. People don't even know like it's it's like people who watch us interact with each other. They tell me all the time like, bro, you would never think that y'all would be the way y'all are with each other. It's like we almost we so strong opinionated. We yeah. we clash a lot, yep. but we clash into a point to where it's like we, gotta, we don't we take gotta, it personal. Yeah, we gotta understand it. And, and it's like if we if me and Will not going at it with each other, it something ain't, ain't right. Yeah, then it's we got right. a problem. Then yeah. y'all know okay, something wrong. Some point yeah. wrong with Will and Justin they ain't being themselves. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, and I think so. Okay, let's let's rewind. So now we had our senior year. Our senior year, like at this point, like I, I tell people all the time, and I don't I don't have no shame in saying that. Like I'm getting scholarship. And interest from colleges and from D one off conditioning because they're coming to see wheelchair mm-hmm. and Damon Powell. I'm just gonna keep it, you know, throw it out there. Be yeah, and I know that, but and that that ain't no shame in my game. Shit, I'm putting myself in the best position to be successful. Yeah, because that's the same thing that uh, by this time you know, Coach Coach Mo retired. Right, when you come right, right? after we won state. Coach Mo retired because he made the promise to Mook that he was going to leave with him. He was leaving with Mook regardless. I remember that. Right, and it, it I know it hurt him too. It hurt, it hurt the hell out of me. I'm like, I damn, know, but like, I knew, I'm like, because I'm like, man, you you promised him that before you right. knew what I was going to be. Right, right, you didn't right. know I was coming to Mac. Right. But let's, but then Coach Mo had that, that year was, I think it was dope that he retired the way he went out, the, going out the way he did. Yeah. All the stuff he went through yeah, in that time. Yeah, man, that but he, he had, man, he had a chance to go 64 and 0, though. Yeah, that was That's bad. cold. Yeah. That's crazy. But I, Coach Mo was tired. Man. Yeah, yeah, but I'm like, man. He made that promise. I'm like, man, that's before you even knew what what you had in me. Come on, I'm like, and Q, you feel me? Your voice. And I'm like, 
Damn. Yeah. Like, just go out with us. Like, go out with us. Because we like, these these dudes coming up. Hey, look. Yeah. Hey, look. Yeah. Hey, these, was these, yeah, they was young. And these cats, you got you had some dudes on there that had attitude problems right. stuff coming up. Who ended up being good. A lot of them ended up being yeah. really good. But they had to learn. And we yeah. were probably like that at that age. Yeah, exactly. But I'm like, man, come on. You got a proven, you got a, you got a proven vehicle right now. Right. It's go Like, come on. Coach, Bro, you sell are, it. Don't trade don't it. Don't sell it. Now. You yeah. ju- you barely, you just put some miles on this one, right. like come on, like you got just one more push in. Yeah. Then then you ain't got you feel me? You ain't got to just go out because it's broken down. You can go out because you feel me? Just park it in the driveway. Yeah. Yeah, then right. just let us just be sixty four and old. I never knew that that you felt because I remember the promise to move thing because that was like a big thing. Yeah, because he he was thinking about retiring for a couple years and then it was like he promised move he would leave with him. Yeah, I and never he wasn't knew even that you. That you know what I mean, I was just like, damn. Because to this day, like I talked to Coach Mo the other day. To this day, I think it's dope that you know Coach Mo is another guy who I I was just telling you that when we spoke the other day, like he's a legend, man. I never got to play for him. But just the fact that I know he, I know he respects me as a hooper, as oh, a coach now. Yeah, that that means a lot to me. You know yeah. what I mean? Like you said, he was like, bro, because I'm telling you, like, bro, I never got to play for Coach Mo, so mm-hmm. I look at him in his light. You like, bro, I look at him the same way, and I play for him. You know exactly. what I mean? So I, I just think that that's dope, and that's a testament to Coach Mo. Yeah, so no, shout out to Coach Mo, man. Yes, sir. That's Go Coach check Mo. out those books that he has, man. Everything, man. That's a real stand up guy, real great guy, man. Like, really, really is like you think of Mac, you think Coach Mo. Yeah, let's keep it real. You real know what talk. I mean? Like. And that I just I, you know I think that's dope. So yeah. now our senior year, let's talk about the memo thing, man. Because I want to talk to memo about this, man. Because that still haunts me to this day. Yeah, man, we lost to De La Salle. We ought to talk about why we lost and all of that. Mm-hmm. That's a, that's irrelevant. Me and you we do what we do every day. We on lunch. We go to my granny house together. She either cook. My daddy got us yeah. food. We cracking jokes on my daddy. He yeah. promising us girls he never gonna he never come exactly. through with. Yeah. He just he's still, he's I, still to be honest, he still I think, only like I think four or six. Yeah, I think he four made four or six. I think he made he felt cool being with us. I think that's what his thing was. He that's just wanted us around him. Yeah. So he was bribing us. Because I've never seen none, none of the girls he's supposed he to promised get. Them. I ain't mamas. never met one. I ain't never never seen none of the mamas. It's crazy. Right. <laughs> exactly. And as many games as we had. Right, they should have been there. They probably I, yeah, Exactly. Yeah, yeah. You could have slid one up in but, the game. So me and you, we lost a day, we lose a day La Salle. Mind you, this is after 32 and 0. At the time where I never forget, we're 17 and 0. Because if we would have beat Daylight, I would have made 50 wins in a row for you. I don't know why I remember weird stuff like that. But we're 17 and 0. We played Dale LaSalle at Cal. They beat us by five, I believe. 38-43 or something like that. And the, I tell people all the time, just walking around that West Oakland community felt different. Mm-hmm. Like it felt, me and you walk, doing our normal walk we do every day felt different. And then right before we get to my grandmother's house, Memo is driving by. Yeah. And... Memo looks at us, looks back at the road, looks at us again. And walks up. No, and he's just driving. Up, so. He just shakes his head and keeps driving. Yeah. And it wasn't like a, we didn't feel dissed or nothing. Yeah. It was almost like we let our big brother down. Yeah. You know what I mean? Losing the lose game. The you can't lose the daylight. And my climate's daylight south thing goes back to before yeah, we were okay. in that level, you know, at that level. You can't lose to Daylight. And Memo, and watching you guys beat Daylight out a year before he in that came same all game. The way from Chico. He came from Chico to watch that game. He was in the crowd, turned up, front row, talking out. Wow, he has Chico, he has Daylight South guys at Chico with him. So it's personal, you know what I mean? And that's the that's what's dope about Mac is we all love Mac. Mac is like, it's almost like you got a Mac fan base is almost like the Raiders fan base. You know what I mean? Like nice. so, like I said, that that walk, bro. Like and and me and you looked at each other. We kind of laughed it off, but we also felt like, damn, bro. Like that's wrong. Yeah. And we both told each other, like, bro, never again. We not doing it. Yeah. Like, just like probably how you guys said, and and it was your thing. That's probably it. Could have been yours when you it happened when you guys lost yeah. the state championship. You told me it's like just no more, bro. Whatever we, we got to do, we not losing no more, no more, bro. No more, bro. Like I don't lose. And you you telling me like, bro. Don't get used like letting me know like bro no we don't do this over here yeah like nah this ain't how it, how it go down bro so whatever we gotta do to win these games bro we win it yeah we don't do this over here and kept going about our business yeah, to so everybody else it's like okay it's one game who no, cares to us it's today, like, like maybe if nah we, I'm gonna no, tell you who, no losing, it, yeah it was because no it's no slip because that not after going that, that wasn't a that's not a slip up game though right you, that's why you, you can't drive. 
all week you practice for that team. Right. Back yeah. cuts. Right. That's one. That's taking one. the shot clock down all the way. Right. You got to guard all the shot clock. Right. What, you know what I mean? You prep. Fight through gaps. Let's be honest. De La Salle is almost like a. It's a type of. It's a type of basketball. Mm-hmm. It's a type of basketball. So when you play. The, when you see certain teams, you're like, oh, they play like De La Salle. You see yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. That, so let's, you let's name their offense after what exactly. you saw from them before. Exactly. You know what I mean? You call it, you call it what it is. And uh, so it, I, I agree with you. Yeah. So, uh, sophomore year, obviously, great success is, is your team, basically. Now you're stepping into that role. Kind of like at Mac going into your junior year. Yep. You kind of, you know, feeling yourself and you knowing, okay, it's, you know, I'm, I can do this. Yeah, because before, before it took it took us to go a little bit to, to hand me the keys. Right. I remember, I remember uh, one game. I uh, I went off against Fresno State. Uh-huh. Right, this was Paul George and him. Okay. They had a big team and my boy Juju Smith. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yep. But Juju played conference. with me, played so, with me yeah, on I the remember Soldiers. Paul George, right before he came out. Yep, okay. Juju played with me on the Soldiers. And they had some other cats with bounce. Yeah, yeah I remember right? Juju. He's from Fresno, right? Yep. Yeah, and then good. so they uh they had like a, a nice team. Paul George, this is when Paul George sophomore, they like he going to the league. This, be, this is the year before he came out. Yep. Because this I was a freshman. He came out junior year. Did he? He came out junior oh, okay, year. Okay, okay, okay. Or he did he come out junior year or sophomore year? I don't know, but because I, I know sophomore year they was like he about to go to the league. Yeah. I'm like, man, what? Man, that boy dropped 18 on us in the first half. And Easy. He had a 30 ball on us, like fresh off of injury. Easy. He threw one lob over one of the Crazy uh, bounces on our team. This dude named Jack McGillis got stupid bounce. Went to Oregon State, uh-huh. um, but ended up coming back home and played for us, Montana, right? Uh-huh. And uh, he, they threw that. Boy, alive, and he just, I'm like, no way he getting that. I look, we in the zone, he just, boom! Right. I was like, oh, yeah, he real. But I ended up coming in, uh, like, closing the game out. And winning that game, you know what I mean? Pretty much breaking their zone. Right. Penetrating, nobody can do that. And I'm like, then I go from not playing. Right. I'm playing like six minutes here. And my mom is here. As a freshman, I'm like, bro. Hey, what's going on? You reluctant to start a freshman? Right. Then he started me. Rest was history, right? You feel me? I'm like, come on, you, you feel me? So then now sophomore years, it's, it's really ain't gone. Now you feel like you It's me. I'm off the you were pit off the leash. Mm-hmm. It's so, me. I knew I had to work on my shot. Right. So I, I pretty much, you know, going into my sophomore year, I, I changed I was like, you feel me? Like I gotta gotta do something, I gotta shoot better. So I kinda I changed my shot. Right. You know what I mean? And then now sophomore year, I'm shooting a little a, a little I'm shooting a little bit better than I was right. freshman year for sure. You know what I mean? Because I was in my head so much freshman right. year. Then I got my, you know, I changed my shot over the summer. Now I'm shooting a little bit better, a little, little mid twenties, right? Twenty percent, but right. I'm making them. Right. I can't just dairy, right? right. So right. I'm making them. So now. So what? So okay, let's go to junior year. Junior year, you guys win the conference tournament. Yep. Yep. That year. Is this the year you lead the country in steals? You, you and Jared are like one and two at some point, or that was no? Serious? So. My sophomore year. Was it my sophomore year? I remember it was one point you and Jared Cunningham were one and two in steals. Sophomore year. It was my sophomore year. Okay. No, my sophomore year, I was number one in steals in the country. Okay. That's dope. I was number one in steals in the country. That's dope. And what it was, Oregon State as a team was second in steals. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Got you. And I remember when we played them, um, I got one steal. And a cat was like, man, I told you not to throw the rock like that. All right, all right. I'm Because like, he, he was just known for Yeah, it. yeah. All like, right. that was a scouting report on right. him. He leads the country in the steals. Right, right, right. So, so, junior year, obviously, you guys go to the tournament again, right? You win the conference tournament? Junior year, yeah. This is Dame's – or is Dame not here anymore? Is Dame Lillard in – My junior Lieber? year. Yeah, Dame's here. So, Dame is a senior? Or did Dame leave early? No, no. Well, Dame, technically, when Dame. Uh, oh, when he hurt his foot. Yeah, he had a rest year. year. Yeah. Oh, I forgot. A lot of about people that. don't. A lot of people understand. He he could have came back his senior year. Yeah. He sat out. But he had already yeah, did yeah, everything yeah. he needed to right. do his junior that. year. Right, right. You feel me? So Dame is there your junior year. Yeah. And you guys beat him again in the conference championship to yep. go 
Yep. To the tournament. Because the the, the year this Dame This is the year Dame lost in Cincinnati. Yep. But because the, the year Dame uh set out, sat out was my sophomore year, but we beat them to go to the conference championship. Okay. And I'm playing on a you feel me? That's for your foot was messed up. Yeah, my you didn't ankle. Know that it was that I was, no, it was just, you just ankle. Didn't yeah, get I was the, playing in a, I was playing like a, a a sore ankle. Right, okay. So and, and we beat them. I remember I was stretching and he came up to me, he's like, No, we about to I mean, so he's not playing at this time. No, okay. no, you know we about to tear that ass up. I said, all right. Is Davion there at this time? No, Davion comes your junior. Yeah, yep. Davion, so Damian, Davion and Dame played together. No, no. So when did Davion? So my, my, my he oh, no, came. Davion came your senior year. No, he came, but he sat out. He had to sit out. Got you. Okay, Remember? That so he was yep. there. Yep. But he had to sit out. Right. So Dame, because uh, Dame is the one who recruit. Right, right, right. Shout out to Davion because he. I was just t- talking to him yesterday about this, but it was dope how he used Cal State uh, Monterey kind of as a JUCO Division Two. Yeah, because he knew he should have been D one. Right, we knew should have been. He was great, good enough to go D one for sure. Now he's, but they didn't really get no respect because right in that conference and Oye, you know what I mean. We right. was right. everybody was watching us. So right. and then, uh, but shout out to uh, Davion Barry. Who, a pro now and obviously doing really well for himself. Yeah. Just spoke to him. He's family to both of us. So yep. that, that's dope. Um so now your senior year comes Dev's there. Dev's there. So now you're going against Dev. Dev's there. So now you go from Damian Lillard to Dev. Yeah. At cousin. Weber State. That's tough. Yeah you know I mean Dev, Dev is there. your cousin. Yeah. And Mook. And Mook. And is Mook. There. Mook is your there. high school teammate. Yeah and Mook is there. That's dope. That's dope. Scott Bamforth was there, I think, the year before. I know him too. He yeah. went to I went to I met him through uh switching schools and Luke stuff. Was there. Um so now take me to the year you sit out. When the the foot so you was your foot broken that or was, you just had to have surgery? So my foot was broke it was fractured. Okay. The year before my jun and you know what I mean, my junior year, that's when I'm I'm averaging sixteen. Right. We win the whole, you feel me, the whole thing. Right. Killing. Me and Kareem. Kareem Jamal, running mate. You know what I mean? Me and Reem. He played against us in state, right? Yep. Yep. Went to Westchester. Right. Beat us, beat us beat in the us state champs our senior year. Right. Right? Uh, me and him just, we taking it over. One, two. I remember I used to hit you when we were in college. You used to be mad. Like, man, stop passing the ball, bro. You one of the suckers. Bro, t- like you know, boy, uh, what's his name, Kareem? Yeah, Kareem Jamal. Yeah, just joking, obviously, because yeah. he, he was really good. Mm-hmm. He, he reminded me of Bradley Bill. That was that was one yeah, of you know, you remember, you remember the L.A. battles with yeah, I mean, any Bay Area team, whatever? So as it long as every year not living in L.A. Yeah, you they all know this. right? Yeah, L.A. Yeah, cats like that. They didn't like us. It was a basketball thing. Because when people think California... They think it's all one, but it's pretty yeah. two different worlds. Yeah, and, and, south and, and oh, north. Yeah, well, we exactly. got to meet up in the state championship. Exactly. And but, then it's like, you know what I mean? It's So it's like, oh, I like Cat. You know right, right, so right. It's took like a little rivalry. You know I mean? Then uh, my boy VA from L.A. too, we just kind of, so I'm like, okay, we good. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, his yeah. recruiting trip, oh, he, 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 cool. he family, right? So me and him, we we, we in the backcourt. That's good. So Killing. let's go into, I want to get a little bit into your pro career because that's kind of where I want to like, Spirit, this and kind of you know get it going. So obviously we know you win a lot, and that's kind of been my thing about you from off the rip. You've had which NBA teams have you actually played for? So I mean you can count the Toronto Raptors. Okay, so the Toronto yeah. Raptors. You I was there preseason. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Then after I was released there, went to uh, Cleveland Cavaliers. Actually, while LeBron James was still, yeah, there, that's fire. That's that for its own reason. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. The yeah. obvious reason. Yep. yep. Um, both short stays, which is fine. Like I said, that's a dream come true. You got mm-hmm. to experience the lifestyle. If one day at that lifestyle, people would, you know, kill for kill it. for it. Let's talk about talk a little bit about that. Like, it's an iconic picture that you, you probably. I know you probably feel it's iconic. It's iconic to me. The picture with you looking out the window with the Raptors jersey on, with the cherry on the yeah. back. Number twenty two, right? Or was it five? One. One with Number the Raptors. One. Okay. One. You were five with Cleveland. Yep. Okay. And me seeing that picture and like knowing your story of every a lot of stuff we just ran through, a lot of details we left out. Um, for one, I think it would be dope if you like wrote a book one day. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because like telling like, you know, your story is yeah. I think it's dope. Yeah. You know? And that's something that I've never mentioned to you. I kinda want to mention it on camera that's, for a yeah, reason. That's for the community yeah, too. Yeah, that'll be dope because it's a success story from from here. You know what I mean? And it's it's 
It's not the Damian Lillard because that's far fetched. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. That makes sense. It's yeah. more so the Will Cherry that's like a realistic goal, but it's still super dope because I didn't get to live that life. Yeah, you know what I mean. I never got to spend a day. So, um, tell tell me a little bit about like your first time realizing like I'm here. Yeah, in NBA. Yeah. Man, when I, when they have me living in Venice, working out, I was like, oh, I'm a they. Right. Through the business, I'm pretty much there for the summer. Right. I had just came after I like immediately, you know, you you pretty much got processed and kind of right. go and go do their programs and stuff like that. I'm like, oh man, like this is crazy. Right. Like, this is crazy. So So what so I'm working out with those cats. James Johnson, you know what I mean? So Chance this is Ross. Name, this is people that you you know name, you know you know my name, you actually know my face. You know well I knew I knew Terrence Ross. I knew who he was right. because he played at UW. Right, you know right. what I mean? I kind of knew him. Right. Uh, you know, uh, you know, slam dunk. You know what I mean? Right. All that stuff. Um, but I'm, like, I knew, I knew, I knew them. But I'm like, man, these is NBA workouts and stuff like that. You know, it's what a mean? different feel. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty obvious. So, and I'm in LA and Venice, right? Just pretty much chilling, don't right. tell and stuff. So, what so. about what about um, what about what advice do you have for? Uh, for, for, for the young the young people who will watch this. I'm Will Cherry. I graduated from McClamas High School in 2009. First time I really, really had to make a team. Um, it's just, you know, being patient. You know, at this, in this business, you never know when your number's going to be called. Um, you never know, excuse me, you never know, you know, any night, on any given night, um, when you're going to have a big game, you know. And you, got, you just got to constantly keep working. Um, keep going up the ladder, earn more minutes each game, um, earn the coach's trust, um, and keep doing the right thing, you know, on and off the court, whether that's putting in extra work all the time, which I do. I'm always in the gym. You know, I'm a gym rat. Um, and, you know, things like that never go unnoticed, you know. So if I keep doing the little things, you know, I'll be all right. You know, I only, I only can control what I can control. You know, the rest is, you know, up to the coaches and whatnot. And if I know I gave my all 110%, at the end of the day, I'm good with it. Coach Scott always said he was like, I hate rankings. Right. He didn't like rankings. Because right. he's like, I seen the best basketball right out here in Oakland, and y'all cats ain't getting the respect y'all deserve. And everybody can't go state. Right. But you sit here raking all these other kids at these other schools, like, that don't mean nothing. Right. So I'm like, I that don't, I never care who who people were to this day. Right. That's, that's the, I didn't even know who people's names were until Memo would tell you, me. And then even when then, I got to Mac, it was me telling you. Yeah, you was that. telling me. And then even like, now, to this day, I'm still, feeling, I'm still find finding out more names. Yeah. Like, I didn't know we were supposed to play uh, Kawhi Leonard in right. a uh, – the state championship right. our junior year? Yeah, exactly. I didn't no, know that. No, that was senior year. What was that senior year? When they got knocked off by Taft. And then, then No, I that was my that was my uh that was my junior year. No, because Kawhi Leonard went to Riverside. Who's I think he, he went said, to King at Riverside. Because mm-hmm. remember remember they moved Modern Day to Division One that year to play us because Modern Day had all those guys going. USC, Cal. So who Dominguez upset when we beat them? Oh, I don't know about your junior year. It could be Kawhi Leonard, but I know our senior year. It was supposed to be Modern Day, and then it was Kawhi Leonard and them who ended up getting Kawhi Leonard and them beat Modern Day, I believe, and then what's that? No, Taft beat Oh Modern Day uh, uh, Riverside, which which uh, King Riverside, which is Kawhi Leonard. Yeah, and then Westchester beat Taft. Yeah, who had the guy Mikey Mikey and uh, Dominique O'Connor both went to USF together. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, but um, but so, but Don played with Westchester. Yeah, 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 exactly, yeah. exactly. Uh, and then, but Mikey played with Taft. Mm-hmm. But um, so and I ended up playing both of them there right. at USF. Right, 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 right. When they was there. Right. Um, so let's talk about um. Uh, most recently, you I, obviously we talked about you playing. You played in the G League a few years, a couple times. You've been overseas, all over the country, playing at a high level. Let's talk about the Croatia thing for multiple reasons. Uh, we won't go too in depth because, of, like, again, this is part of my story. Yeah. So one day, uh. When I tell them, you know, who I am, is that this Cro- Cro- Croatia trip is a big part of my life. Yeah. Which you've known because, I, like I said, we talk every day. So you've known that because of the talks we've had. But uh, we good? Yeah. Okay. Um, Let's talk about that. So how was that for you? Because I've never seen you in that light. I, we don't have to go into detail. I yeah. almost don't want to because it's so dope to me how you are about that. You don't, You never told me. We talk every day. And it's just like to see you in that element at work. 
was fire to me. So talk about like your mind, your 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 your, your uh, how you wrap your around how being wrap your head around being so far away from your family, your friends in a whole nother country where the language is different, the food tastes different. Talk about that a little bit. Like how can how do you manage to deal with that? Man, it's first off TV. Okay. Yeah, you know I mean, if I got a con- internet connection, right, you can make it. Yeah, you know I mean, I can watch all the shows back home. Right. I ain't worried about that. I'm gonna find me the sites and everything. Um, from fellow basketball players on Twitter or right. whatever, because sometimes I forget them when I come back right, over. Right, right. I'm good, but um, a lot of the time I try to read. Mm. You know what I mean? Read at least thirty minutes, uh, fifteen to thirty minutes a day. You know what I mean? And so uh, also I'm, I'm I'm listening to audio for at we least. We both got that. Man. Yeah, we both do that. Thirty minutes. You know what I mean? And I didn't even know he was on that. Right. Got out there. He was exactly. like, I'll be I'll be reading this. Yeah. I mean, we talk. We had. It, I be, it's, it's crazy. I be how, listening to this. Right, it's crazy how we, like I said, we we talk every day. Literally yeah, every day we and talk. We, didn't, we, didn't and we never that knew that about each other. We didn't disclose that. As far that as, as close as we've been for the, all, many, all these years and known each other, all these we didn't years. disclose that. You but, know what I mean? So when you got there, I was. You know what I mean? I was. I always listen to audio. So for you, it was clockwork. But for me, it was it was dope watching you. Like like I said, I won't go into detail, but like watching how you maneuver and like. You had a schedule on your set, and it takes discipline. You know what I mean? It mm-hmm. takes uh, hard work. It takes uh, mental strength. You know what I mean? It takes dedication. It takes, uh, like, there's so many adjectives that you can place especially, on it. Especially especially when you're practicing sometimes twice a day, right? Um, you deep into the season, you're tired, and all you want to do is just go lay your ass on the couch. Right. Turn on Netflix or whatever show you're watching and just plop up on the on the couch and right. forget about your habits that you had in place, right? Right. Um, there's been many times I'm like, man, I'll do the audio and uh, that's it. I'm like, man, I can go one day without reading. But then that's going to compound right. to like, okay, I can do one less audio. Right. Man, I can, do, I can make up for them, you know what I mean? Right. That... Uh, one reading, actually two readings and one two one audio. I I I'd have skipped over these two days. No, nah, but you know what I mean. You got the habits in place because if you break them, it's it's hard to keep rebuilding back to them habits. Right. It's like you you take a boiling pot of a water off the stove. Right. It's gonna stop. Right. When you put it back on, it's gonna take longer exactly. to keep heating exactly. up. So it's like exactly. I gotta I gotta keep it. So. That I mean, and you over there for ten months, but you got to do something else to stimulate your mind. And, right. and talk Not everybody's there for ten months yeah. because you got to be putting in work, though. You're gonna be yeah. back home, so let's oh, throw yeah. that out there. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Like that ten months thing, you got to earn that. That's <laughs> you a fact. know what I mean. Yeah. So let's not just say it like you just you sign that paper, you set in stone. Oh yeah, you, yeah. you kind of always kind of. Every day's not really killing like that. Every day's a job interview out there. Yeah, if, if you ain't really, really, if you ain't really killing like that, you already ain't established yourself in that system and. Um, you can either be a backup or right. a starter, or whatever. If you ain't established yourself out there, and you already know, like, bro, I, I'm not worried about that. Right. To the point where management will kind of ask your opinion on certain stuff, or you can kind of go ask management, like, right. hey, can right. can I get this? You and they, they cool. You yeah, they just in. cool. Yeah. Right. Like, um, then you kind of always kind of look over your shoulder. Right. You know what I mean? Because you want to make sure you you do what you're supposed to do, normal. especially after you have a couple bad games. You right, know what I mean? Right, right, right. And they can recycle players like that. Right, so. right, right. Let's talk about, again, uh, I want to specify promotion because it's, it's significant to me. Um, first of all, I want to say <clears throat> thank you. And the thank you is for, you know, you bringing me out there. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that was something... And it was people don't even know because around that time I was in such a bad space mentally, and you know that because, yeah. like I said, we talk, and you you you're like a we we call each other sometimes, and it's just like just to listen, and yeah, it's like like I'm going through something, I and it's like, you. and I was just about to say that we don't even have to say nothing, we just start going, yeah, and the other uh, the other whoever's just listening knows don't say nothing, yeah, just let him get his rocks off, let him get it off his chest, yeah, and then you give him your honest opinion, yep. whether he right or wrong, yep. And that's what that's and what. And sometimes it end when us pissed off at each other, hanging up. Yeah. And then it's a call back, like, <laughs> you right, brother. I'm, I'm you know, yeah. I'm mad. Then, I, then, then it's like, bro, like, it's life, bro. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? And it's like, that's dope that we got that relationship with each other. And I just want you to know, like, that that, that shit doesn't go unnoticed in my life. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I, I tell people all the time, like, that Croatia trip 
watching you in that element and what it's like it's kind of why i'm sitting here today mm. that started and i told you mm. i said look i'm about to get myself back in the gym which i ain't gonna lie i cat it for a long time but yeah. i didn't own it you know what i mean you said bro you a hooper bro like you should look like a hooper yeah and that's how you talk to me and that's how i talk to you Fact. but that's the that's love you yeah. like bro, you should be walking around looking like a hooper because that's what you know or your daddy yeah, yeah damn, exactly man. i'm like come on man you so, on that track so it's like but but the, the fact that you know you have somebody in your corner who you're so tight with that's not a yes man because I know that's why you mess with me yeah. too because it's like you know like sometimes you call me just but tell me my tripping or I call you Will bro. yeah I just got to with my girl like you know here, you know and that's the kind of type of stuff that we had and that's dope because yeah but man what you do bro? yeah exactly but but it's like nah G you was wrong like nah yeah. bro, you need to go make that right and that and it'd be crazy because I don't know our like. Other people, when we vent to each other about our other situations or whatever, they don't realize that usually we not on each other's side. No. Nope. You know what I mean? Like, we usually yeah. just, we usually be like, nah, bro, I get you, but yeah. you got to look at it. You know what I mean? Exactly. And, but I just think, like I said, bro, like I said, watching you out there, watching the way you move, like, that shit was inspiring, bro. Letting me see another country for really the first time besides, like, Mexico. Yeah. Like That was tight having you out there. I told yeah. you I was going to bring you, though. Yeah, you... you Cause you, but, like, you remember the first... You've been days? trying to get yeah. me. I just had my passport. And, yo, yo, one of your... I think your job wouldn't let yeah, you go Yeah, it was time. hard for me to get off work yep. and all of that, but this time we made it happen, and it was crazy because I almost was like, bro, I, I, I can't do it right now, and you wouldn't take no for an answer. You was like, bro, I yeah, got and your... And your like, mama had to convince yeah, you. Yeah, you and my mom both. They're like, man, we going to make this happen for you. I was in a bad space and like you really it was literally to the point to where you hit me with the date I was leaving. Like it was yeah. like I can't say no. But you at won't. This point. Come on, yeah, man. like and coming out there, bro, like I still talk to people from out there, bro. Uh, you feel me? Like Philip. <laughs> I still talk to Philip. He hit me on my yeah. birthday. Phil, when I post, when Phil I, good people. Yeah, when I posted my stuff, he uh the Andre, remember Andre? Yeah. He, uh he reached out to me. Oh, when first, you? Yeah, when he first came to the States because he was trying to get me to help him find a school. Like, and that's why all this is so dope because, like I said, that's kind of what I'm trying to start now. Yeah. I want to be like a pipeline for people. I want to be able to connect Dre people, people, people with other bro. people. Bro, it's like, but I wouldn't have been able to experience that one for you. So I just want to say. You met, you met, man. You, bro, we was at the uh, little party. Bro, oh, man. It was, the night we walked in there like yeah. celebrities. <laughs> and it was like, it was crazy. Like I told you all the time, I don't, I'm, I'm not a big casino gambler. Mm -hmm. But remember we went to the casino. They know the people who own the casino. We get money. They give us money to gamble. With. Yeah. Remember I'm on the machine and I hit. So then when we go to yep. the club, I buy everybody a drink. Remember that? Yep. I spent yep. all that money I wanted yep. on drink, but it's just like He's that. He's like, damn, I'm going to the first round. Yeah, or, or, uh, the first round. Yeah, it was exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but, <laughs> but it was funny. You said, man, I'm going, oh. Yeah, exactly. I'm going to the first round. <laughs> it was funny. Yeah, somebody else stepped right. right. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't feeling really, it because I didn't know what I was doing. It was another hey, thing. <laughs> But it was funny. It was dope. Step up. It was fun for me watching you watch me like a kid. You know yeah, what I mean? It was almost like and I'm like just like bro, I'm like watch this. Yeah, Remember you, you, you kept telling me you and you and it was dope because me and you aren't like like there's a few people I say that come from where we come from that could have like could have went the route that we went like. Yep. Me, you, Memo. You know what I mean? Like, Memo went to Chico State. You went to Montana. Yeah. I went to Amador in high school. So, we kind of can mix with any crowd. So, we had fun. Like, as soon as we got there, I said, bro, I need to go sightseeing. Yeah. And, or when you be, when you was in Jerusalem and all, like, you showing me, you on Instagram, I used to always teach you, like, bro, that is so dope. Yeah. And it, I think it's dope that you go overseas, but you don't go overseas just play like basketball. You go overseas to expand your mind, yeah. your world, because you're seeing the way these cultures are. You're seeing these monumental things. You're going to watch these sightseeing. you posting it. you letting the world know. you letting yeah. us back home know. That's what, And that's why I post like exactly. that. I be trying to let people know. I done, I done got people... Hit me on DMs like, bro, I'm trying to, I'm trying to do what you do one day. Exactly. I'm like, it's bro, you ain't even gotta do, you ain't gotta play hoop to come over here exactly. and, and see what I'm seeing, bro. Mm -hmm. It's just, I just take advantage of it because I was already gonna do that. Had to stay exactly. in the league. Exactly. If I was stuck, you know what I mean, for other reasons. But it's like, if I was stick, then I was gonna be taking overseas trips anyway. Right. So if I'm over there getting paid to make money and help my family back here, make you know what I mean, make a better living for themselves. Um, I'm going to take advantage because most of the time, um, stuff in Europe ain't that far from each other. I didn't know that. Especially Remember, when we were in Croatia. Yeah. We was like an hour and a half away from Madrid and all that yeah. other stuff, I think. See, I didn't know that. And you should be, you should be <laughs> laughing like, bro, that's not Europe. Or, bro, that's not. And I'd just be like, bro, what about <laughs> Turkey? What about here? What about, you'd be like, bro, that's not here. Or, mm -hmm. I, you know, <laughs> he was laughing at me. But it's just, and I'm not. I'm not I remember, I, what's the capital of Croatia? <laughs> I didn't know. 
<laughs> I remember it was like Turkey. <laughs> it was like watching that. It's a. Uh-huh. I just think overseas is overseas. So it's like Yeah, bro, that had me crying. Yeah, it was but, the capital of Croatia. Yeah, but it was bro. Turkey. <laughs> <laughs> bro, it was it was dope, bro. Like I said, man, that was a dope experience, bro. So talk about um I Another dope thing I like that you do, man. You still go this. So this season you played with the G League. You played the G League with the uh, Warriors, Santa Cruz Warriors. Yeah. You guys had a pretty good year this year. Uh, in my opinion, underachieved a little bit. I thought you guys should have. We should have won further. it. Yeah, you guys should have won it. Um, another dope thing that you've been doing for some years now is you go back to these Warriors camps and you talk to the kids. And I just want to say again, man, the fact that you're giving back to the community. Even you bringing me out to Croatia, that that in a way is giving back. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Even though we're the same age and you don't look at me like that, but I kind of I'm not I'm man enough to be able to admit like that's how I look at it. Like, bro, yeah. that's dope. You know what I mean? Because I'm not the only person you brought overseas. Memo, your moms. You know what I mean? Like it, uh, your 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 girl. Like that. That's dope, bro. Like that is you're like you say it's not it's unselfish because you're not you're you're living a dream but you're letting allowing us to live it with you facts and it's like you know that you got that support system back home that would do anything for you mm-hmm. you know what i mean and it's like uh the fact that you go and talk to these warriors kids and you never even played for the like the actual Golden state warriors and you you know you just became on a g-league team but you've been doing this thing. yeah i know that yeah, you know before, I mean? you don't, before i was on the g-league exactly was and you don't you don't do it braggadociously like you don't Make it like, and you 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 and you have fun with it, and you be telling me like, I be like, bro, let's go to this, and I gotta go talk to the kids. Yeah, you know what I mean. And it's like you put those kids first. Facts. You know what I mean. And you don't do it like I say for recognition. You don't brag about it. You don't talk about it. You just go do it. And I know you impact those kids' life, bro. I just want you to know you impact everybody around you' life. You know what I mean. I know your mom. You know what I mean. Your beautiful daughter. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean. Welcome to parenthood. Like, yes, all, sir. Appreciate like, it. I just want you to know, like, bro, regardless of. The politics and stuff that we know that goes on, like you are solidified, staple as a legend in my eyes. Yeah. Like you gonna go down as one of the best players to come out of Mac. And I just want you to know like how, how much I appreciate you Man. as a friend, as a brother, as some like an inspiration because of you know, we bounce ideas off of each yeah. other, you know what I mean? All day. The, we we've talked about this, you knew this day was coming, like you've been somebody I bounce these ideas off yeah. of you like, bro, that's gonna work, this not gonna work, you know, try it like this. And I just want to commend you, man. Thank you for stopping by. Appreciate I want to have you, you back up so we can, because uh, we got some stuff we got to go take care of. But I, I want to make sure we get you back up, you know, so you can tell more of your story on camera. I ever want to do it, yes, we'll figure it out. Uh, like I said, man, thank you, man. I'm proud of you. A lot. I'm gonna be making sure we updating you on, you know, whatever. We don't know what you're doing next. Yeah. But, uh, I'm sure it's gonna be something big. So yeah. we'll announce that on here. We'll let everybody know. We're keeping up with you, your stats, and I'm sure you're gonna go and win, like yeah. everywhere else, wherever you end up. So, man, like I said, man, thank you. You know what I mean? Thank you Appreciate you, man. You're my brothers. You know, I was going to come to this regardless, right, right, man. Right, right, right. Before so, you even seen the set of it, yeah. you saw this, so it was yeah. like, what? Yeah, <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah. You, yeah, yeah man, exactly. the first episode with, 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 with Tutu, I was right. like, oh. Exactly. This is the real deal. Yeah, we, you know what I mean? Right, right. Don't kick, go push some other people to the back, put right. them to the front. But I'm like, yeah, we, uh. I was going to come in this, bro. You yeah. know, anything to help my brother out, bro. Right. Like I said, we already knew this was going to happen. Right, right. It's executed now, right? Right, right. And that's what we do. We execute stuff. Right. So you executed flawlessly and perfectly, man. So I'm just happy that you have me on the show. Appreciate it, brother. Yes, Before we sign out, man, give uh, just one, I like to do this, man, just one piece of advice to, like, the youngest out there watching who, you know, want to be like Will Cherry. Like I said, that's a that's a attainable a t- a goal. Damian Lillard, we know that's the GOAT. You yeah. know what I mean? He's upper echelon. Like, that's far-fetched. But mm-hmm. for somebody like you who, you you know, you you just just give them, like, you know, just, just a piece of advice of how to keep their head up, keep fighting, no matter what people say about you, no matter how tough it gets. Just uh, give them a quick word before we head out. For oh, man. Uh, don't let nobody, you know, deter you from your goals and dreams, man. Right. If you got a goal to work for, you know what I mean? You got to do everything you can do to attain that goal, right? right? Um, you're going to have naysayers along the way. Um, don't let them bump you off off of, off the course you're trying to go. Right. Um, and always keep working because it's cliche, but hard work does be talent. Right. You know what I mean? When talent doesn't work hard, I think right. we was doing 32-0. Exactly. You know what I mean? So just always do what you got to do um, and keep working. You know what I mean? So... Um, and do you. Right. Don't let nobody deter you from doing you. Exactly. Stay true to who you are, and it'll, everything will work out for you. That's dope, man. That's dope. Again, man, thanks to Will, thanks to my brother, Will Cherry. He'll be a regular, I'm sure. He'll be back up here. Uh, 
Yeah, man. Like I said, thanks. Appreciate you. Uh, signing out. That's it.